What's going on cryptocurrency investors? My name is Landon. Welcome to Crypto Review Central. I provide daily cryptocurrency news videos covering a wide range of topics from market analysis, price speculation to trending topics. You can find it all right here at Crypto Review Central. The markets are slowly losing value over time. The total market cap is down about $35 billion from the $300 billion support level we found last week. And Bitcoin has broken the 7,500 significant support level, currently residing at $7,445. We have two big stories today. First and foremost, the Intercontinental Exchange, ICE, is one of the top organizations and is considered a staple financial institution in the United States. Namely, they own the New York Stock Exchange and they are forming a new product called BACT. It is described as a global regulated ecosystem for digital assets and it includes partnerships from Microsoft, Boston Consulting Group and Starbucks. It's going to enable customers to buy, sell and store digital assets and will include federally regulated markets and warehousing for Bitcoin and potentially other cryptocurrencies. It's designed as a scalable on-ramp for institutional merchant and consumer participation in digital assets by promoting greater efficiency, security, and utility and will be another product that institutions can participate in these cryptocurrency markets with. Along with Coinbase's custody service, Bitcoin futures by the CME group, as well as a current Bitcoin ETF proposal that's under review by the SEC from CBOE backed by SolidX and Van Eyck, there exists a lot of institutional interest and speculation that all of this interest will culminate in products just like backed, along with Coinbase's custody, to cause a significant bull run in this market. Also, we have news from Coinbase today that they are considering adding institutional custody support for XRP, EOS, XMR, NEO, and 30 other cryptocurrencies. Their digital assets custody for institutions launched earlier this year, and just today it announced via its blog that its custody service will be exploring a range of new assets. Also, we have confirmation that Ethereum Classic is going to be added to Coinbase on Tuesday, August 7th, so that's just a few days away. It will be on Coinbase Pro on August 7th, not available to regular customers until later. It's speculated that it's only available to Prime and Pro customers due to the liquidity with known accounts that would have enough Ethereum Classic trading volume from the sounds of it. And this is why the price suddenly shot up over $2. Look at that jump. From a bottom of $14 all the way up to $16.62. Awesome. 10% gains over the last 24 hours. It remains a very exciting time in this space. And a pivotal one at that as we wait to find out what's going to happen with both the Bitcoin ETF along with all of these new institutional products making cryptocurrencies more and more attractive. Continue to follow our daily content on this evolving cryptocurrency space as I provide daily analysis on trending topics. So hit that like button if you enjoy any of our videos and subscribe if you have haven't already. We are rolling out a new giveaway scheme that's going to make giveaways eligible every video. So make sure to comment and subscribe and click the white bell notification button so you don't miss out on any of our content. Thanks again to the CRC crew for your continued support. This bear market might just be over. Do all of your own research and happy trading everyone.